Hello and welcome to another tutorial in C Sharp. This tutorial we're going to learn about data types. We've already sort of learned about them, you know, integers, strings, stuff like that. But we're going to learn specifically about number data types and how they affect each other. Remember when I said you can't give a certain data type a different different data type basically. <laughs> so I can't give an integer a string. That's not going to work. Okay, the compiler is not going to let me do that. And we can't give an integer decimal values. Okay, you've seen this before. It's nothing new, right? Okay, but uh, what does it actually do if you divide it by something? Uh, it does something called truncating. It, what that basically is, is it doesn't round the number off. Uh, let me give you an example. For example, uh, if we divided 2 by 3, we would get 0.666. It would go on forever, right? Uh, usually, would, if we're rounding off to the nearest whole number, we would say that's 1, right? Because it's over 0.5. Not the case for integers. The compiler is a lazy person. So, uh, it's not going to take the time to like, oh, wait, uh, yeah, it's, it's closer to one. One, I'm going to make it one. It's not going to round for us, okay? It's, it's just going to cut those off. So if, it, if you got uh, 0.66666, it's going to say, oh, I don't take decimal values. Uh, what, what am I going to do with it? Oh, I'm just going to just erase that. I don't care. Okay, that's what it's basically going to do. So you lose all that information there. Uh, it doesn't round off. To round off, we use math.round. Okay, to round off, or math, math.floor to round down, and math.seal to round up. Ceiling, sorry. My bad. Uh, those, that's how you round integers. Uh, but we can sort of use this to our advantage. Actually, never mind. You can't, there's no way for you to use this to your advantage. <laughs> but I want to show you uh, using. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to use um, different variable types together. Uh, since they're both numbers, we can use them in uh, mathematical equations together. Uh, we just have to be careful. Okay, so we're going to say int final value. Not gonna give it a value. Uh, we're gonna say final value equals. Uh, actually, let's set this to ten and set this to three. Three. There we go. Uh, we're gonna set this x divided by y. This is gonna give us an error. This is because whenever you have a float or something of of a greater uh, memory usage variable like a float or a double and you have that in an in equation with a integer or anything with a lower memory uh, storage variable it's going to just upgrade that it's going to promote this to a float so after it does this calculation this whole number is going to become a float uh, what we have to do is something called typecasting this is not using convert dot to int. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we have it's not using convert dot to int. That's different. That's using a function. Uh, this is sort of a simpler way of converting things. Uh, we what we want to do is convert this y integer to an int. I mean y float to an integer because the final value is an integer. Ultimately, we have to get this to an integer. There's two ways we could do this. Either we could typecast this y float to an integer, say basically transform this y variable into an integer, or just say it's an integer for now. It's not setting y to an integer, it's just tempor temporarily setting y to an integer. So we can do this mathematical equation and it will output an integer without causing any damage. The other thing we could do is put this in parentheses. This whole everything in the parentheses is going to become a float, and we're going to turn this 
float value that's calculated within this parentheses and transform it into or typecast it into an integer and that will be safe and uh, if we go ahead and I'll put this there we go as you can see it did our division uh, without any crashing or errors although it did get the wrong value but that's just because we're using integers if we used floats it would be fine we take away this okay there we go we get floats so okay so I know this is uh, might have been a little bit of boring tutorial uh, because we didn't really do anything that new we just learned about how to be careful with uh, numbers and how to not get errors and how they sort of work but it's very important to know this in the future so hope you enjoy this tutorial leave a like subscribe and hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you bye